So now we're going to look at compensating our two-stage op-amp. So I'm going to draw the two-stage op-amp in this basic form here with an NMOS input and a PMOS current source load. We've got a bias voltage for this tail current source, and we're going to feed the same bias voltage to another tail current source that's going to bias the second stage. We're going to take our output between the two transistors of the second stage, V out here. We're going to put our input into this PMOS device. And our compensation capacitor will go around this PMOS device. This is our Miller compensation capacitor. Now, rather than having to redraw this circuit every time, we're going to simplify the analysis for this circuit. And this is kind of what we've been doing with inspection analysis all along. I'm going to say that this first stage can be represented by an input voltage. V sub i. And we're going to say that we've got a voltage dependent current source. That's equal to gm1 times R1 we've got a resistance at that node that we'll call R1 and we've got some total capacitance at that node that we'll call C1 we go through a capacitor to our second node, and the voltage at this first node right here will be V2, or sorry, V1, the voltage developed across this resistor is V1. We've got another current source, dependent current source, that's equal to GM2 times V1, another resistance, R2, and a capacitance, C2. And we take our output voltage across this resistor and capacitor. Okay, now all these big GM1, R1, C1s and whatnot rep are, are representative of something in our circuit. So in this case, GM1 is equal to little gm12. R1 is equal to RO2 in parallel with RO4. So these are things that we've seen before. C1 is equal to all the capacitance at node one. So these are all the small signal capacitors and the Miller compensation that we have to take into account. GM2 is equal to little GM7. R2 is equal to RO6 in parallel with RO7. 
and C2 is equal to all capacitance at node 2. Node 2 is our output node. All right, so we have a fairly simple model that we're going to use in the next slides to, uh, to do the analysis for this compensation technique.